Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So yes, it is that time again. Time to take up another champion. Now, this one's going to be a rank four. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you first all of my rank fours. Okay, and my thinking here was I wanted to take up someone who wasn't that well represented class-wise. So you can see who I have here. Got plenty of cosmics, plenty of um, mystics. Uh, but, you know, I've got two skill. But I only have one mutant. Kitty Pride, one science, which is a uh, Quicksilver, and one tech, which is Omega Red. So I needed to choose one of those three classes. All right. So I filtered out everyone except science, mutant, and tech. So, um, and then I'm going to filter out, yeah. So these are my rank threes. Any rank three is a possible rank four. All right. So you can see here, these are all my rank threes. I'm looking over them. I just took up Omega Red. So he would be a good one. Love my spider ham. Domino, very good in BGs. Uh, Ultron, of course. Uh, Ghost, much as I like her, um, she's great at three. Apocalypse, definitely worth it. Toad, worth it. Nimrod, definitely worth it. Uh, we got Titania. We've got Overseer. Um, uh, Anti-Venom, not so much. Uh, same thing with the uh, Hulk there. Uh, and Magneto is fine where he is as well. All right, so I decided to take up Titania. Out of all of those, I kept going back to her. I only had one science and this will be my second science and my 12th rank four, six star. Now, let me tell you a little bit of why I decided to do that. So Titania has a particular, very useful utility. She is immune to buffs. So in Alliance War, Especially, there is a node, node 24, I believe. And that node benefits from folks that have a lot of buffs. So we don't want folks that have a lot of buffs. So the person that I was going to take up for that was Spider-Man 2099. If you guys watch some of my older um, war videos, you know that... I was using him and I was having fun with the uh, boss node. He was like the best boss killer, but apparently he was too good. And so Kabam is going to be taking care of that. Not only that, but even before they did that, they added the whole banning system and people kept banning him. So I wasn't able to use him anyway. So I'm like, I'm ranking him up. Can't use him. Now, during the um, off season, especially, but sometimes during the season, I was seeing people placed there like Mojo, like um, Ebony Maw, who ideally you want to take with somebody who doesn't gain a lot of buffs. And Spider-Man 2099 makes both of those fights pretty straightforward and simple. However, people um, ban them. Uh, this is for my boy Dipper, by the way. I like to rotate uh, Titania because he, he liked Titania. So I like to rotate her around a little bit so he can, you know, catch that that look. Anyway, um, so what I thought was, well, Spider-Man 2099, if he's not on the boss node, he's still good, but he is a little bit um, fragile, I would say. And so I'm like, you know, Titania is not fragile by any means, and she doesn't get buffs. So this will allow me to have a good option if they ban one, I've got the other, to deal with that situation, okay? So um, she's also really good, and I'm still learning a little bit more about her. So 
Uh, I'm going to take her into Realm of Legends. I've already done that before, and we'll fight a little bit. She impressed me during Eternity of Pain. So I was thinking about taking her up, you know, so many good champions, and I will take some of them up later. All right, see? For Dipper. There you go. All right, guy. Um, now we're going to go into Realm of Legends and fight a little bit. All right, let's take a look at the synergies that I have active because she has some pretty good ones, and I didn't select all of them, okay? So this first synergy, I will break you. Uh, she starts each fight with 10 Fury passives, and Fury effects gain 25% more duration, and it's with uh, She-Hulk. So I could easily see myself, especially during the uh, monthly event quest, bringing in Titania, She-Hulk, Mr. Fantastic. That is an, a nasty combination team. All right. The next one here, increase the potency of Fury effects. So not only am I going to get a bunch in the beginning, but they're going to do more damage. All right. They're going to buff my damage. Now, I don't know exactly, but... It says synergy members increase the potency of fury effects by 4% for each synergy member present. So I have Colossus and uh, Colossus. Um, I have Colossus and um, Hyperion. Does that mean it's 8%? Because it looks like it. It says max is 20, right? Although that's only 16. I. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure how this works, to be honest with you. Um, so I don't know if I'm getting, you know, 8% right now. Or whether just having a, a member present is 4%, then for each one. So it would be 12 at this point. That would make sense with the max being 20, but I don't know. All right. Anyway, uh, and then we have this one here. Intercepting the opponent pauses Titania's Fury passes for two seconds and reduces Haymaker cooldown by five seconds. I thought that was pretty cool, um, especially since in the beginning, we'll be able to do some safe intercepts. So let's go ahead and play and see what happens. And if anybody knows uh, the answer to that question about how that synergy actually works, let me know. All right. Let's, uh... All right, see here? Safe. Come on. Boy, he don't want to fire his special, does he? Okay. Mm. Mm. He don't know what to do. Oh. Come on, bring it. He's got 18 Furies right now. Yeah, I got to get that haymaker when um, when he doesn't have a special. And activate it then. <laughs> activate it like I have a, a accent. Uh, activate it then. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What you got? See, as soon as I do the heavy, he's going to fire his special. So as long as he is holding the special when I do the uh, haymaker... Forget about it, but reducing that cooldown. Oh, whoa, what happened? That was weird. Come on, let's try to get him to do it. Come on, come on. There we go. Yep, still had a special, <laughs> but look at her health. Look at her health. I told you, she is very, 
tanky. Very tanky. Now firing off these specials, running uh, the, the, the recoil masteries and everything. Look at that. She is a beast. I definitely like Titania. And you will see her being used uh, more often, especially in Alliance War. See, I love the, the opening right there. Ah, she backed off a little bit, so I couldn't get her. But Titania don't seem to care. Yeah, she getting hit. Hardly losing any health. Mm. Okay, let's hit her with it. <laughs> mm. Look at that damage. And she was like unblockable for that. <laughs> eh. Mm. Look at this. It's crazy. She is just wrecking. Look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Tainy ain't no joke. She is no joke. Um, yeah. I like her. All right, guys. That's going to do it. But whoo. That, that haymaker. and uh, She's going to be very useful. And uh, I believe that also allows her to tank um, special threes. So, whoo. I can't wait to use her. I really can't. She looks awesome. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed it. What do you think about this new Rank 4 Titania? Uh, take care, and you all have a blessed day.